All right, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't created a video in a while. Um, just purchased a Model 12 mixer and I was trying to set it up to um, podcast or live broadcast and I was trying to figure some stuff out and I came across this um, plug-in and I decided to give it a shot with uh, Studio One and the NPC uh, based on what it was doing and how it was working so I thought I'd give it a shot and I thought I would share it with you guys so the reason for the video is um, this will allow you to use your MPC sampler while using it as a VST plugin with Studio One. Um, I've been using Studio One for a long time and Ableton. And Ableton, I'm able to use my inputs uh, while using it as a VST, um, but I cannot with Studio One, so I had to record into Studio One, save it to a folder, go into that folder, add it as a sample, uh, and then chop it up using the MPC. Um, so this workaround, uh, you'll be able to sample using your MPC uh, in Studio One using it as a VST plugin. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the link uh, you want to go to. Here is the program you want to download. Once you download it and you go to install it, you're going to download you can install all this other stuff but the only thing we want is this one here Rea stream audio plus midi over ethernet once you install that you're good to go just make sure you scan for new plugins in both the mpc software and studio one software all right i'm using uh, MPC 2.8 and I'm using Studio One 4.6. So the first thing you're going to do is bring in the plugin MPC. It's in. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is add an audio track. And I'm going to go to input two because that's where I have the turntable set up. And then we're going to hit monitor. And I'm going to cut. And that's it. So I'm going to turn the volume down. But you can see his peg in there. I'm going to open up the mixer. And then I'm going to add that new plug in. And the plug in is in a folder called Kakos. And then it's going to be Restream Standalone. Once you open it, you're going to hit Sin Audio slash MIDI. Hit the drop down and then Local Broadcast. Okay. And you can see it's, it's pegging in both places. Now we're going to open up the MPC software. And I tried it different ways. I tried it as an insert in sampler and it didn't work. Uh, so this is what worked for me. Uh, I just selected a plugin 
or and I'm sure you could probably do it as a drum track too, but I just did it as a plug-in. And then open that up, add insert, and then cockles again. And then I add it. And then, so in the software, you can see I added the insert here. Now I'm going to minimize this. Now you'll notice that this is pegging. The actual NPC software is showing levels uh, for the plugin. It's not showing it up here, but it is showing it down here, which is all we need. So the next thing you're going to do is go to your sampler and you're going to want to make sure you're in resample and then just arm it stop it and then edit and you'll see it's there so it's there um, again uh, I mostly create these videos for helping me remember setups and things like that because uh, I don't use uh, the MPC that much because um, I'm working all the time. Uh, but I thought I'd share this with anyone that may find this helpful or useful to them. And until then, keep creating, keep having fun. Enjoy and thank you for subscribing.